Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today's an update video on the SMD rework stations. I've gotten a bunch along the way, but these are the two that really stand out. And these are actually the two that I've only been using and for a couple reasons. So on the left here, we have a really expensive, it's not really actually that expensive when you think about it. It's this station here. Now you might say it's pretty big, but um, it comes with a lot of features. And this one is called the Gordak 86 three three in one digital repair combo i'll have them linked down below and this one is the yihua i think as well i forgot what it was called but i'll have this one linked as well down there both of these has their pros and their cons and let's get into those let's start with the more expensive one which is this one here and before continuing on, a huge shout out to our sponsor, PCBOA. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have the open hardware ESC and open hardware flight controllers, and they're currently running a sale. So go ahead and check them out. I'll have the links down below. It's one of the top PCB manufacturers out there. Fast service, great quality, and great customer support, and definitely recommended. Now, this one is really useful if you're doing a lot of salvaging components and just a lot of rework things. And why do I say that? Well, up top right here, what we have is we have a heating bed, which can be adjusted as you please. Now, some might say, oh, this works only on one sided uh, PCBs. But no, if you notice, if you watch my previous video where I salvaged some of the components from these, these are actually two sided. So I just placed them in here. And then what you do is you let the heating bed or the heating element, this thing right here, heat up. Once it heats up, then just removing components is so much easier and much simpler. So that's one of its huge, huge benefits here. Um, you don't even have to use this plate. It still does come with the rework and the soldering iron, which is really cool. And both of them are detachable. So for any reason you wanted to detach this, you can easily do that. And you get a really nice control interface here, as you can tell right here, the main power and then the preheating element to start heating and not heating. So overall, it's a it's really nice um, in terms of usability and ease of use and longevity so far. I have been using this a lot and I use this almost every day. I don't want to say every day. I would say I probably use it 23 days a month. Now let's go to the other one. And you're like, okay, well, if you're using this one, why are you using the other one? Well, this one here is a cheaper option, but the, I also have other ones that are a little bit more expensive, but there's a reason why I use this one more than the others, which is one thing is when I'm actually using this one, I don't have the rework part connected, but you can use it for rework, but I don't have it connected. What I do is I just remove this part, but as you can tell it, the amount of footprint or the space it takes is minimal. So I have two workstations, one for large things and one for small things. This is the small area for SMD components. I have another table back there when I'm working on my electric skateboard or some you know, 3D printer or something if I want to modify something. I use this right here. And as you can tell, this is the amount of footprint it takes. And the power input is the type, you know, the PC connector here, that, you know, just where you can find everywhere. So it's nothing even proprietary. And it's really nice that you can remove it. You probably have this on your wall. Um, so I really like this. And they are all silicone wires, so they just glow slide around the table. You don't have anything to worry about in that perspective. And it comes with everything you need. Um, however, what I've noticed about this one compared to even this one here, the power delivery on the soldering iron is much, much better. And that is why I also put it on my bigger table to work on my bigger components. Some of you might be like, okay, well, I want a heating bed. Some heating beds by themselves go up for 200 bucks where you can just get this thing. I mean, it didn't have many reviews online. And this is the reason why I'm making an update. This one is really great. It's been used for about, I think seven months, if not more, or maybe a month or two less. You could see when I first officially released the video of that, that's when I got it, or I've been using it for a couple days when I got it. Yeah, these two are are totally recommended because you know I've just never had any issues I just turn them on and use them and they work really great every single time however if you do get this I do highly recommend you purchase a little extra thing here which I got the other day and I'm actually quite happy that I recently received because I actually I don't even remember how I was working without it which is this little stand here it's 50 bucks it is kind of expensive, but when you think about this whole deal together, it's really not. This is a really nice option here. For example, the other day I built this ESC and I was actually using this right here. And you can just bring in your board, align it, and it's held with magnets. The board, the bottom board will get scratched, but that's fine. I mean, you're moving obviously metal with magnets all over it. So that will get scratched over time. I still haven't put a lot of time into it, but um, it's a really great thing to have to hold your place to hold your board into place it's not touching anything it's levitated it gets co nice cooling on the bottom it depends if that really matters on what you're doing and the best part of all is this right here which is you could just bring in 
your little hot air gun and then you can just constantly move it and then you know just adjust it as you please and it's very very useful it, it it doesn't apply for everybody but it's really useful if you don't have the cash to dish out on that one right there it makes everything much easier to work with and more enjoyable i mean you just have a stand for your thing which you can also just you know make it static here as you can tell i mean i don't know if you could tell but yeah right there so you can see that right there you can also just keep it in one position however i like to keep it loose and you can adjust how high you want this and how low you want this you could even take it off if you don't want it. So it's really nice and I use it to hold some of my tools such as this one here. This one's really nice. I haven't used it much. It's just an SMD component tester, test resistors, diodes, and um, capacitors. So it's really nice. I'll have it linked down below if you wanna go and check it out. So far it's good. I don't have any issues with it and it works as advertised or as, as it's supposed to. So this thing also comes with these long brackets which are really great as well. Um, I haven't used these just yet. I've only been using this. I find this a little bit uh, easier for my current project, but this is a really nice addition. So you do get all of these things right here. Now, and again, this one has much better power delivery and it does have a sleep function. The other one doesn't. So if you leave the uh, soldering station, the soldering iron on and you haven't moved it, it does have some sort of a gyro or probably like a flip switch in there and when you move it, then the heat comes back up, but it doesn't drop to zero. It goes into like sleep mode, but it still keeps the tip kind of toasty, which is a really nice feature, but it can get kind of annoying. There's no way to turn that off. Um, sometimes I, I get annoyed by it, but sometimes I love it when I actually do forget this thing on. So it does save some power, uh, which is really nice. So both of these so far have been great and I have been using them. This one more than that one, but this one is still getting a lot of use, uh, especially the power delivery on this one. I really enjoy there. I can totally notice the difference between the power delivery on this one and this one, but saying that doesn't make this one bad. This was just saying that there's more power delivery in this one in a much cheaper package. So this thing comes back to you. Not everybody's going to be uh, needing something this large. However, I do. Uh, but if you're into that stuff, this is a really great option since it's been used for quite a while and it's still holding up very well without any single issue whatsoever. None of these two. And um, I'll just keep updating you guys on these and anything else I receive. So yeah, if you're on a budget, I would definitely recommend you get this 100%. It's been working out really great. And well, that's it guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll have a link to everything down below. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out guys.